people you're welcome back to our channel i'm so delighted to have you once again i hope you're doing good wherever you are we're doing fine we're good so today guys i want to talk about this crop here it's not a crop it's a plant it's called typonia for those who know it in english it's typonia diversifolia and uh, for those who don't know it, in, in Kiswahili it's called Mbeguraisi, in Dolo it's Mafua Ketch. Who oh, that flower, wow, so beautiful, right? Yeah. So today I want us to know more about this particular crop. Like what the benefits of it, how can you use it, you know. When it's around your farm or when you've decided to do commercial production of this crop. Oh, yeah, you can do a commercial production of it. So, I wanted us to talk about it in depth and let us know how it helps a lot of people, how it rejuvenates <laughs> back here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. It rejuvenates your soil to become fresh and fertile once again. Yeah, so you're welcome. And please, if you're going to find this video useful, I'd advise we, 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 we share the video, we like, we subscribe to the channel. Yeah. So, as I was saying, we want to talk about the benefits of this crop, of this plant, of this flower here. And guys, let me tell you, to be honest, it's so beneficial if you have that flower around your farm because you can use it to mulch your farm, your garden, you know. Yeah, you can use it to mulch. And you know, when you mulch using these plants and crops, it's going to, to retain a lot of water into the soil. And when it they decomposes, it releases a lot of nutrients to the soil. So apart from mulching it with in uh, mulching your crops or mulching your soil with it, you can also plow it into the soil and allow it to rot. It releases a lot of nutrients, high amount of nutrients. This crop here releases very high amount of nutrients, and if you if you incorporate it into the soil, trust me, you like. It allows the soil particles to be together, to be loose, not together. They are particulated in nature, you know. It holds a lot of water, adds the organic matter into the soil, and that improves the soil content or the soil efficiency and the soil what fertility of that soil. And it's also advisable if you are into organic farming, you can use it as a single unit to supplement your soil nutrients. Or if you are into in organic farming, that is, you are always using fertilizers. To reduce the amount of fertilizers you purchase, you can decide to use this one too, because it produces a certain amount of nutrients. And if you supplement it with the, with the inorganic nutrients you bought from your shop, it's really nice and you know if you are using the organic inorganic fertilizers you are only going to 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 you are not going to incorporate be incorporating a lot of ma organic matter into that soil the soil is going to become sticky and blocky together there will be no good aeration in the soil but when you incorporate it with these ones it's really going to have a lot of air with it it's going to have a good water retention capacity the efficiency is going to be so good. So I'd advise if you know any farmer in either either in a f in a rural village or in an urban area, they can always try to find this crop. It's very useful. They can use it to add the 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 nutrients into the soil. So that's it, guys. And uh, bye. See you in our next video. Love you.